Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been doing, show off what I've done with the Jurassic Park Isla Nublar project. I think you guys are going to like this. Uh, watch. Let's go for a little drive. We're going up this hill. And, wait, what's that up ahead? Up. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Do not adjust your setting. You are, in fact, seeing what you are seeing. This is the tunnel that cuts through the mountain range that's going to take us all the way to the specific location of the T-Rex attack in the T-Rex paddock. <laughs> this is so great because literally like uh, for the past few days I've been experimenting with the method of how to actually get this and I figured out a way to do it thanks to World Painter. Now, I had to do all this experimentally, so I decided to like record my progress as I went along, so there wasn't any dialogue to it, and it's mostly quiet, but I just wanted to show you guys a step-by-step -step basis on how I was able to do this, so that maybe future generations will see this video and figure out what it is that I did, and maybe they'll find a way to improve on what I did, so... Anyway, I'm just really satisfied that I got this tunnel, because this takes me... This is another step for the T-Rex paddock nearing completion. And so, one step closer to finally being able to bring the Rex over and just release her into the paddock. And that, <laughs> that's when we will basically have something to christen Jurassic Park about. As you can see, this tunnel is long. It's almost a thousand blocks long, so took quite a lot of effort. <laughs> I love that overhanging foliage. And this is the site of the attack, right here. <laughs> anyway, this here is a bit of a flashback footage. I think I might just... wanted to show you guys, like, what exactly, how we started. Here is where the tunnel is supposed to open. As you can see, that grass there is where it's going to be overhanging, so... Anyways, I figured now that I'd go back and show you guys the step-by-step -step process of how... I made the tunnel. I basically realized that with using World Painter, they uh, have you, they give you the ability to sort of create custom brushes and custom layers and whatnot, and I realized that there was a setting that allows you to paint out or draw caves and tunnels, because why wouldn't there be? So, anyways, I opened up a file with, with World Painter using the Jurassic Park map. As you can see, I basically have it all set out, and I'm drawing out the tunnel in yellow. Yeah. Seems like it would be a pretty simple thing, right? Just a one, two, three step? Like, just draw it out and then merge it with the already existing uh, Jurassic Park map? Well, that's where you'd be wrong, because for some reason, well, probably because it's still in the experimental phase, World Painter is very glitchy when it comes to merging this with the with an already existing map. And of course, it took like upwards of like 10 or 14 hours to actually get, finally get it all merged over. And so, when I finally went in there to check it out, I discovered the worst. The island was completely obliterated. You see, basically when I said that it takes upwards of 10 to 14 hours, that's a, it's a bit of an exaggeration while also not being an exaggeration. You see, I, the program is still pretty finicky. The idea behind it is that, um, well, when I first tried this, when I tried merging the newly dug out tunnels with the map, I actually tried to dig out all three at once. So I basically tried to merge the map, merge the edited map with the official Minecraft world. But then, the program just kept telling me, oh, it's going to take two hours. Okay, two hours later, oh, it's going to take four hours. And that was like at 2 a.m. And I'm like, okay, this has been going on for so long, I have to go to sleep. So I decided to basically just cancel it, shut down the program, and then just go to bed, try again in the morning. The problem is, is that this is what happened to the map, of, uh, because I cancelled it. Somehow or another, a completely different Minecraft map got inserted into the Jurassic Park world. And as you can see here, the cliffs, everything has been completely destroyed. It is like, 
there's basically a whole new world has just been slap dashed into the middle of Isla Nublar, and it was heartbreaking and terrifying to see. So it's a good thing that I had backups. Literally speaking, I am so paranoid. I back up that map every single time I make any sort of big contribution to it, which is something that I should probably do before I go to bed tonight. <laughs> Oh man, look at that wall, massive wall of cliff, all that gray and dirt just sliced through at 90 degree angles. <laughs> anyway, another way that basically I realized that this program was pretty finicky is the fact that the merging tool literally warns you that it's glitchy, it's not finished yet, and it might result in sort of other things lost. But I didn't know that I had another option, because I literally looked at the only other option, which would be to export the map as a brand new Minecraft map. But the thing about it is, is that I couldn't do the entire island that way, because it literally says, exporting the map like this will basically cause any man-made structures above the surface to completely disappear. They will be gone. They won't be saved over. So basically, if I were to do that, if I were to export the map, all the trees, all the fences, all the buildings that I made would be completely gone, like the visitor center here. But then I figure out a workaround to do that. I basically created a brand new map, and I took the mountain. I literally went into MC Edit, and I took the chunks of that mount of the mountain range out and put them in a brand new file. So that way. I mean, yeah, I would export them over, and I would be losing all the structures on top. As you can see, that is where that blue portion, that's where the fences are supposed to be, and I've lost them, and I've also lost all the trees. That is ultimately, that was a sacrifice that I knew I could make, because I wouldn't be losing them on the rest of the island. So, I dug out the tunnel, and this time I had the idea to leave the tunnel filled with water. And you'll figure out why that is in a moment, because... I basically, like, then I copied over the entire tunnel through the mountain range on this map using MC Edit, and I saved it as a schematic. You'll find out why. We go back to Jurassic Park in just a moment, where I'm going to import the map over, the, the schematics, the tunnel, over onto that map. Now, the biggest problem is, is the fact that I had to figure out a way to pretty much make this tunnel without copying the air because when I basically had to get sacrifice all the trees and the fences and every single man-made structure above the surface on that other map that meant that if I were to copy over the tunnel with just air in it and copy the air over as well that would basically be cutting out all the all the trees and the fences from that map onto this one as well so I'd lose them on this one so, I basically realized that <clears throat> if I could flood the tunnels, cut them out using water, I could then put them back. I could then copy that tunnel over onto this one, and instead of copying the air, I could copy the water. So that way, I would be copying the space that's cutting out the tunnel without, cutting, without copying all the air that surrounds the slopes, the, hill slot, the hillsides, and whatnot. So... All the trees and the fences remain intact. As you can see there, the tunnel is definitely flooded with water. So now, it was only a simple task of having to... A simple task of having to replace that water with air. Simple as that. And this is just me going all the way over here to check it out and make sure it actually worked.
And as you can see here, the tunnel finally opens up. It's great. Anyway, from here on, it's basically just <laughs> a whole lot of shenanigans of me just driving around the island to show off what I've done. <laughs> Just a little joke. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that because I wanted you guys to know that like the project for making the island is underway and I'm so friggin' proud of making that tunnel. And as you can see, my final message down here is that that tunnel was easy because both at the entrance and the exit will all be on level ground. But I'll just have to make some adjustments. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll continue to support the Minecraft Jurassic Park update by, by the Linkzilla here on this channel. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!